Professor Waldo Wigglesworth, and who as he meanders mischievously through the maze of Foggy Bog, Wisconsin, will suddenly find himself in the traffic zone. Hey, Professor, are you sure this is a shortcut? Of course, Fillmore. I've been through here many times to every rock, bush, and tree. It's these holes full of water that I'm not sure about. Yes, sir, I know this swamp like I know my own hand. I figure we'll save at least 15 minutes by taking this shortcut. Yeah, but Waldo, I swear I've seen that tree before. I told you I know every rock bush and tree. Hour of mischief. Hoppity, I want you to keep a sharp lookout for these mud holes. They're treacherous. But that's the same hole you stepped into before. Why, that's nonsense, Hoppy. That would mean that we've been walking around in circles. <laughs> sure, that, that hole does look a little familiar. I thought, darn it, Professor. Now you're gone and got us lost. Lost, lost, you say? How could we be lost? All I have to do is consult the Professor Waldo Wigglesworth anti-magnetized underwater 14-jewel compass. I'm sorry, I forgot to wind it. Then we really are lost. Don't worry. Give me a moment to think and I'll have us out of here in a jiffy. <laughs> We'll proceed due north, and in that way, we'll hit Highway 101, and we'll follow it into town. Hey, that's the highway we was on before we took your shortcut, Waldo. Confound you, Fillmore. Have a little faith in me. Just follow me. When have I ever led you wrong? There you are, Highway 101. Just look over that hill, Fillmore. One thing I can't stand is a smarty pants bear. There's nothing here, Professor. What do you mean there's nothing there? I can hear the cars. Hey, gosh, Professor, I told you there's nothing here. Gee, where'd they go? Hoppity, my boy. I'm very much afraid Fillmore has gone into the traffic zone. The traffic zone? Yes. The traffic zone, that intergalactical millennium of timelessness that is somewhere between the intercosmic... All right already! Gee, that traffic zone isn't too good, is it? Good, it's terrible. We've got to get him out of there before he gets hit by some kind of intergalactical bus. Hey, it's solid, Uncle Waldo. Why, George, all right, Hoppity. So Hoppity and Waldo set about trying to break through the traffic zone. All right, Hoppity, hold it right there. I think it's gone now. That's what I get for buying at a surplus store. These synthetics will never replace. Could a half ton charge of dynamite hurt anyone, Hoppity? What should we try now, Uncle Waldo? It's no use, Hoppity. There's no way for us to enter the traffic zone. Besides, I'm afraid that poor Fillmore. You mean. What Waldo means, Hoppity, is that Fillmore is caught in that intergalactical millennium of timelessness that is somewhere between the intercosmic celestial meridian known as the traffic zone. Confound it, that's not what I meant at all. Fillmore is just in there waiting for the light to change, that's all. 
Is Fillmore waiting for the light to change so he can cross the traffic zone? Tune in to our next episode and find out what a celestial meridian intergalactical is. If you already know, please tell us so we can write the next episode. As you'll remember in our last episode, Fillmore had accidentally stumbled into the traffic zone. The terrestrial attraction somewhere between... All right already, we know what the traffic zone is. What we don't know is whether Fillmore is still in there or not. Gee, what do we try now, Uncle Waldo? It's no use, Hoppity. There's no way for us to enter the traffic zone. Besides, I'm afraid poor Fillmore... <laughs> Did you hear that, Hoppity? Did you hear that? He's still alive! Fillmore, old buddy, we'll get you out! Just hold on, boy! No invisible wall's too strong to keep me out! <laughs> hold on, Hoppity, I think I've got him! There, yeah, I've got him, Hoppity! What you've got there, Uncle Waldo, is a giant turnip! The hiya, Waldo! The Hoppity! Who said that? Who said that? To uh, me, Fillmore. You are not Fillmore. You are a giant turnip. Giant turnip. What have you done with my Fillmore? But I am Fillmore. Uh, listen. <laughs> Out of mischief, Fillmore's turned into a turnip. Where else could this happen but in the traffic zone? At any rate, Waldo, Hoppity, and Fillmore, the giant turnip, proceeded into town. Run for your lives! It's the giant turnip from outer space! Where is everybody? The town looks deserted. The people of Foggy Bog were afraid to go outdoors because of possibly meeting the giant turnip. They pardon me. Well, Fillmore, I guess we've got to start thinking about your future. Uh, how come? Well, the big brown bear bit's all over, obviously. You must face life as a giant turnip now. Uh, but I still feel like a bear. But let's face it, you look like a giant turnip, and nobody loves a turnip. I think turnips with brown sugar and butter are great. Uh, Hoppity, do I talk to you about frog's legs? The people of Foggy Bog decided to take action, thinking that they had been invaded by a turnip from outer space. Uh, a giant turnip, Mr. President. Yeah, with, with arms and legs. That's right. Uh, y yes, it's carrying a bugle. Well, well, I, I don't know, sir. It, it probably uses it to call in more turnips. Uh, don't, don't you think this is a job for the federal troops? You, you're going to send the Secretary of Agriculture. I, I see. Uh, more in his line of work. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, goodbye, Miss President. Meanwhile, the people of Foggy Bog decided to take matters into their own hands. I say we attack it with B-40s. I say we use flamethrowers. I say we surround it with a squad on tanks. But what harm has it done? What's it done? It's a turning from outer space. That's what it is. Would you let your sister marry a turnip from outer space? I think I have a solution to the problem. What's that? We plant it. Plant it? Yes, plant it, and the town of Foggy Bog will become famous for growing 18-foot turnips. Well, by George, Fred, you've got something there. Uh, men, uh, take up your spades. Hey, Waldo! Uh, it's an interesting group. They're all carrying spades, rakes, watering cans. Looks as though they're thinking of planning something. Uh, yeah, me. <laughs> uh, come on, Waldo. You've got to get me back to the traffic zone. There he is, man. Open up, traffic zone. Uh, come on, open up. Will Fillmore be able to re-enter the traffic zone before the townspeople plant him? Tune into our next episode, The Vegetarians, or Plant Me Now, I'll Dig You Later. In our last episode, Fillmore accidentally stumbled into the traffic zone and was turned into a turnip.
The townspeople, having never seen a six-foot turnip before, decided to plant Fillmore. Hey, come on, Waldo. You got to get me back to the traffic zone. Open up, traffic zone. There he is, man. Come on, open up. Realizing that it was hopeless, Waldo, Hoppity, and Fillmore looked for another means of escape. Phew, that was a close one, but I think we've given them the slip. All right, turn him over. Cease! Who touches a head on yon gray turnip dies like a dog. March on! What turnip? Well, just remember that. Come on, man. He must have slipped out in the back door. What in the world happened to him, Hoppity? Yeah, I mean here. Did you say something, Hoppity? No, I think it came from inside the vegetable bin. Well, that was quick thinking, Fillmore. Oh, oh it wasn't my idea, Waldo. Well, whose idea was it? Uh, my friend, the asparagus in here. Uh, he said, quick, turnip, jump in the vegetable bin. Uh, so I jumped in there. Uh, would you like to meet some of my other friends? Uh, there's Charlie P and uh, Chucky Cucumber. We haven't got time right now to meet all your little buddies, Fillmore. We've got to find out some way to get you back into the traffic zone so that you can become a bear again. Uh, then this here's a stubby squash. And uh, Ralph Rudabaker. Don't confound it, Fillmore. We haven't got time. Uh, you don't like my friends, huh? Now, Fillmore, of course I like your friends, but I've met them all before on the Blue Plate Special. <laughs> you don't think that's very funny? Well, I guess if I was in your place, I wouldn't think it was very funny myself. Well, how are we going to get Fillmore back into the traffic zone, Uncle Waldo? Property, a problem of this magnitude calls for Waldo Wigglesworth to transcend himself into another dimension of thought. Oh, boy. Uncle Waldo's going to think Fillmore. <laughs> I've got it! To get back into the traffic zone, we must find the pedestrian crossing. Hey, that's brilliant, Uncle Waldo, but what about all the townspeople? They won't let us look for it. Ah, uh, so you're right, Hoppity. I've got it. Fillmore, do you think your little friends would do something for you? Yeah, I think so, Waldo. Well, we'll have all the vegetables go on strike until the townspeople let us get back to the traffic zone. So all the vegetables in Foggy Bog went on strike. Here's your succotash, dear. What did you put in this succotash? Mexican jumping beans? The bean pickers of Foggy Bog had a particularly exasperating time. And did you ever try to slice an animated cucumber? The people in Foggy Bog started to look very peaked, and the mayor knew something had to be done. So he invited Waldo Wigglesworth to the town meeting. And so, if you let us proceed safely to the traffic zone, we will call off the vegetable strike. Uh, all in favor? Aye! All right, Fillmore! Oh, boy. Now for a big dish of black-eyed peas. There. Did you hear that? We found the pedestrian crossing. How do you know, Uncle Waldo? I heard the traffic signal. Oh, well, come on. We can't have any. We'll have to wait for the signal to turn green. It says walk now. Let's go. Gee, so this is the traffic zone. Uh, it's kind of eerie, is it? Say, Hoppity, you're starting to look a little funny. Well, gee, you're starting to look a little funny yourself, Uncle Waldo. Funny? Funny? What's so funny about a mushroom? Boy, we really are in a stew. Don't say that, Hoppity. Well... Let's hope Waldo, Hoppity, and Fillmore aren't in the stew. Be sure to tune in to our next episode of Fine Kettle of Succotash or Who Put the Wigglesworth in Mrs. Murphy's Chowder. Waldo, Hoppity, and Fillmore finally got back into the traffic zone by using the pedestrian's crossing. But then a strange thing started happening. Say, Hoppity, you're starting to look a little funny. Well, you're starting to look a little funny yourself, Uncle Waldo. Boy, we really are in a stew. Don't say that, Hoppity. Uh, gee, this is a fine kettle of succotash. Uh, what do we do now? Oh, well, we can't go back looking like this. And besides, yeah? the signal stuck. Oh, gee, and I'm so hungry.
Stop! Hour of mischief, Wilma. What are you, a cannibal? Oh, my goodness. I forgot. I'm a vegetable, too. I'll see that it doesn't happen again. Say, hey, maybe here is someone who can help us. Pardon me, miss, but could you tell us how we can get back to normal? You? I've been in this traffic zone for 15 years. Do you know what it means to be an avocado for 15 years? Do you know what I used to be? Uh, no. Miss Universe! And look at me now! I've got a shape like an avocado! But isn't there any way out at all? There's only one way. You have to see the Grand Asparagus. He's the only one who can help us. The Grand Asparagus? How or why or which or what is a Grand Asparagus? Oh, he's the man. Like he's king of the vegetables. Well, let's see him immediately. Just like that. He's very hard to see, and especially now. Well, why now? He's out of season. In season or out, I mean to see the Grand Asparagus right this minute. Where is he? In there. Uh, who's that in front of the door? Oh, they're the sentries. Careful. They're terribly powerful. Well, they don't look so powerful to me. Come on. But our friends had taken only a few steps when... Wow, wee, my eyes are watering. Oh, mine too, I can't see a thing. What is it? A tear gas, I think. No, senor. It's just a sentries. Who are you? We just a couple of Spanish onions. Oh, I told you they were powerful. You know the old saying, in onion there is strength. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, well, I'm kind of strong myself. Caramba. With two mighty blows, Fillmore the giant turnip had reduced the sentries to a harmless pile of onion rings. And our friends dashed to the office of the Grand Asparagus himself. Can't you read the sign on the door? The Grand Asparagus is out of season. Open up in there. This is important. No, no, no. Please go away. This is a time for action. Fillmore, break down the door. All right, Grand Asparagus, come out from behind that desk. But I'm out of season. I'm going to seed. All right, Grand Asparagus, you're going to tell us how we can change back to our original selves, or I'm going to germinate this whole room with your head. Oh, oh, don't hit him, or we'll be up to our armpits and little asparaguses. That's asparagi. Well, quickly tell us how to change back, Grand Asparagus. There's only one way. You must go to the edge of the traffic zone and plant yourselves. Plant, plant ourselves? ourselves? The Grand Asparagus has spoken? This is the most ridiculous thing of which I have ever heard, planting ourselves. Now we'll probably just sit here in the ground until somebody harvests us. But that's enough watering, Fillmore. My goodness, what a little water will do. The Grand Asparagus was right. We've all changed back to our sweet, lovable selves. Uh, but Waldo, uh, where's Miss Avocado? I'm up in this avocado tree. Get me down. After that harrowing experience in the traffic zone, I'm as hungry as a bear. No offense intended there, Fillmore. Hey, me too, Waldo. Hey, well, what's for dinner, Hoppity? Vegetable soup. Ooh. I'm sorry, Hoppity, but somehow I've just lost my appetite. <laughs> Hoppity, haven't you forgotten something? Oh, yeah, wait a minute. Uh... And now, here are some scenes from our next show. Uh, ready, Professor? Okay, Fillmore, start it up. Wow, listen to that. Uh, quick, Waldo, get in. I can't hold her very long. Okay, let's go. Me, and look, just ahead, the railroad crossing, there's a truck. 